Imagine two twins, let's call them Space Twin and Earth Twin. Space Twin travels away from Earth at very high speed and returns some years later. Meanwhile, Earth Twin stays in order to not miss the next 10 seasons of Game of Thrones. Under Newtonian law, when Space Twin returns from his trip, he and his brother should be the same age. Makes sense, right? It turns out, that's wrong. When applying Einstein's laws of special relativity, Space Twin will be younger than Earth Twin upon his return. What? Quick recap. By 1905, Einstein had published a theory which we now refer to as special relativity. It comprises three naturally occurring phenomena. First, time dilation, or moving clocks run slower. Second, length contraction, or moving bodies shrink. Third, relative mass gain, or moving bodies are heavier. These three effects become relevant for any two objects moving at more than 10% of light speed relative to each other. That's when Newton's laws produce error margins of more than 1%. If that's news to you and you don't know anything about special relativity, you should really watch part 1 first, where I explain it from scratch. Back to the twins. When Earth Twin observes fast-moving Space Twin, he will see Space Twin's time run slower than his own because of time dilation. Therefore, Space Twin should be younger upon his return, right? Well, it's not that simple. From the perspective of Space Twin, he is himself at rest and Earth is moving at high speed relative to him. Thus, when he observes Earth according to special relativity, he will see their time running slower. So upon Space Twin's return, shouldn't Earth Twin have aged less and be younger? What's going on here? This apparent paradox was used by Einstein's professional critics to argue against his theory. Today, the paradox has multiple accepted resolutions and should be called the twin problem, but well. The easiest to understand resolution lies in separating the reference frames of the twins and examining how much time each twin measures on their own clock during the journey of Space Twin. Let's start with Earth Twin. Say Space Twin's turning point is Alpha Centauri, which is 4 light years away. Space Twin travels there at around 80% of light speed and back. Assuming instant acceleration for now, how much time will Earth Twin measure while Space Twin is on his journey? Space Twin will take 5 years each way. Thus, in total, Earth Twin will have measured 10 years of time on his clock when his brother returns. Space Twin, on the other hand, experiences the following. Because of length contraction, the entire distance he travels shortens to only 2.4 light years. This results in 3 years of travel each way, or 6 years for the entire trip. On Space Twin's clock, only 6 years of time will have passed upon his return to Earth. Boom, solved. But, but Tom you say, didn't you argue that they, that they see each other aging slower than themselves because of time dilation? What if, what if Space Twin and Earth Twin observe each other during the entire trip? How does this fit into the separate frames resolution? Let's say Space Twin and Earth Twin actually observe each other, which could be imagined as them sending each other a live stream of themselves. How does each twin see his sibling during the trip? There are several effects at play here. First, time dilation will work its magic and make them see each other age more slowly than themselves. Second, there is the sheer time it takes light, or in this case information, to travel. As the distance between the twins increases, the images they send each other need increasingly long time to arrive. This also makes them see each other age more slowly, so that when Space Twin arrives at the turning point, he will be looking four years into Earth's past, as he sees the light that Earth sent off four years ago. Since Space Twin has traveled for three years at this point, measured from his reference frame, he will see his brother aged by only one year. After the turning point, this effect reverses. To make up for the shortening time light takes to travel between them, they will see each other age more quickly. This effect is called the relativistic Doppler shift, and it stacks with the effects of time dilation. Together, these two effects determine the image each twin will see of his sibling. The result can be summarized in a space-time diagram. It shows the different paths through space-time of Earth Twin, Space Twin and the images they sent each other. Space Twin sees Earth Twin aged by one year at a turning point, and he will see him age by another nine years after the turning point, so that in total Space Twin will have seen his brother aged by ten years. Earth Twin, on the other hand, will see his brother reach the turning point after nine Earth years, during which time he will have seen him age by three years. During the last Earth year of Space Twin's trip, Earth Twin will see him age by another three years, adding up to a total of six years. On screen, for two twin sisters, it would look something like this. That's how the twin paradox is solved. Einstein was right.